Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever the time it is that you're watching this video. I hope that you're having a good day. Uh, today we're doing our v notes on how to find the slope of a linear equation. Uh, again, a linear equation makes a straight line. Uh, so we're going to figure out how to do that by looking at some graphs and looking at the points. And uh, when we get to the notes uh, at the bottom of the page here, hopefully it'll make a little sense. And when we do the graph, which is on the back of your page, it hopefully will make a lot of sense. It's a pretty simple thing uh, once we figure out what it is and what it means. So let's write down our notes first. Let's uh, start out with this first blank here. And this is a rate of change. And this is something we've been talking about for the last couple days. The rate of change is, is the constant. The thing that does not change um, is a ratio. Oops, ratio of the amount of change. And again, when we say change, we're not talking about money in your pocket. We're talking about uh, something actually changing. So it's the amount of change in the output to the amount of change in the input. And this will make a lot more sense here in a minute. I know these words don't always make a whole lot of sense when you read them, but this will make sense by the end. Uh, this part right here is where we're going to write our answers to our graph, uh, each line that we're looking at. So we'll do that here in a minute. So let's finish up the notes. The slope of a line. And when you think about slope, you kind of want to think about like uh, the slope of a hill, like if you're skiing. Uh, and the slope, if it's a really steep hill, a really steep slope, the slope's going to be a much higher number, and if it's not very steep at all, um, then it's not going to be a very high number, so it's going to make sense when you do these. So the slope of a line is the ratio of the change in the y values, and we're going to call that the rise, and again, when you think about the y values, we're talking about your y axis here going up and down on your coordinate plane. So it's the ratio of the change in the y values of a graph to the change in the x values. When we talk about our x axis, that's the one that goes like this. Okay, to put it simply, when we have a linear equation, it forms a straight line. And from that, we can find the slope, which is going to end up being a number. Uh, my paper's trying to get away from me. And we're going to use, so we can find the slope of a line with a fraction. They're always going to be written like fractions. Where the numerator, and I'm going to shorten this because I probably don't have enough room. I'm sorry. Erase that. Go back. The rise... <laughs> is the numerator, sorry, I'm going to shorten that, and the run is the denominator. This paper is going to try and get away from me, so I'm going to get real close here for a minute. I've got to hold it. Denominator, okay? So hopefully you get all this written down. Just pause the video. You can see it all if you pause it. And at the top here, I want you to write something. I want you to write rise over run, because that's the way we say it. Rise over run. You need to find the slope, rise over run. Okay, and what we're gonna, all we're going to do is we're going to look at a, a, a line, okay, and from that we're going to figure out how high it went up and then how far it went left or right. Okay, so let's look at our graph here, and we're going to start with line A, which is right here. Now, to find the slope of this line going up and down, all we do is we start at any low point that we can find, and we count up until we know we can get to another point. So, for example, we're going to try to get to this point here. Well, I can't just count right to it. Whenever we count, we have to go up and then left. So we're going to go up, one, two, three, up, and left, one. And if you see, it keeps doing that. One, two, three, up, one, or left, one. Up, three, left, one. So when we look at our paper here, we're going to write three over one which we can write as 3. But there is something other about this. Since we went up and left, up and left, up and left, if you can see, it's getting closer to this negative side of the, of the coordinate plane here, and so that makes it a negative slope. Okay, so anytime you go up and then left, it's going to be a negative slope. That's a pretty simple thing to think about if you just 
think of you know your number line here. We want to think of our x-axis as a number line. Well, to the left is negative, so when you're going up and left, that's going to make it a negative. Okay, line B, our next one. We're going to start at a low point, which we're just going to pick this one. We're going to go up first, so one, two, three, four up, and then two to the right. And again, it would keep doing that, up four, right two, up four, right two. So then we look at our paper. Our slope is four over two, which we're just going to write as two. Yeah, we know it's positive. We went up and to the right, but we're just going to write it as two. Okay. Line C, which is this one right here. Okay, we got a low point right here. To get to the next one, we're still going to go up, but it's only one up, and then it's one, two, three, four to the right. So up one, four right, up one, four right. And again, since we went right, it's a positive, so our slope for that one is one-fourth. Again, if you look at that line, it's not very steep, is it? It's, you know, if you were skiing, that's like a bunny slope, the beginner slope. And the, the slope of that is a pretty low number. If you tried to ski down this one, that would be very dangerous. You'd have to be an expert to do that, and I don't even know if experts can handle that slope. So that's a much higher number. Don't worry about the fact that it's negative. It's, it's a big number. Three compared to one-fourth is 12 times steeper, so that's a pretty, pretty big difference there. Okay, let's look at line D next. Where's line D? There's line D over there. Okay, so again, we start at a low point. We go up two, and then left, one, two, three, four, five. Up two, left five. So we come over to this page. The slope is two fifths, but as you remember on this one, we went up and left, so that makes it negative. So it's negative two fifths. And the last one, line E. And as always, my alarm is going off. What a shock. Let's turn that off before it bugs everybody. Okay. So line E right here. All right, we're going to find a point, which we're going to go here. It goes up two, right three, up two, right three, up two, right three, and it does that forever. So then over here, again, we went up and to the right, so we know it's positive, and our slope is two-thirds, written very badly. Sorry about that. Two-thirds, two over three. That is our slope. Now, once we know how to find the slope, it makes it a lot easier to not only graph lines, but find the slope of a line. Uh, and we'll actually be able to figure out where these are written in our equations and how we can graph lines much quicker knowing where the slope is. And that's something we'll get to in, the, in a few days, I believe. So, all right, that's it. I think I finished the video in under eight minutes if I stop it right about now. So have a good day.